Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over a pretty straightforward, quick and basic lesson. And we're going to look at how to change the background color of the 2D model that you see here. So this grayish black background color that you see can be changed. You can change it to almost any color you would like. And again, it's going to be a very quick, straightforward and easy lesson. So let's get into it. All right, real quick, before we get started, please consider subscribing to the channel below. This kind of gives me an accurate gauge of how well the videos are doing. If you find the video helpful, give it a like down below. If you think someone else could find the video helpful, give it a share. And if you want to see anything else done in AutoCAD, please leave it in the comments section below. All right, so let's get started here. And to change the color in AutoCAD or the AutoCAD background, it's going to be a pretty simple and easy process. But the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go into the Options Toolbox. And to do that, we can either come down to the Command Line or we can right-click and go down to options. So once we go down to options, this options box shows up. Now you have multiple tabs up top and we wanna make sure we're in the display one. Typically it'll default to that, but if you're not in the display tab up here, you wanna make sure you're in the display tab. Once you find the display tab, we're gonna to go to the window elements box within it and we're gonna click on colors. So when you click on colors, this box will appear and we're gonna come up here to the 2D model space, which is default selected. And then we're gonna come up here to background, which is also default selected. This is gonna be very similar to the crosshair example video that I posted about two weeks ago. But again, we're dealing with the background. So with this background, we are going to go over here to the colors and we can change it to whatever color we would like. You have your default red, yellow, green, uh, blue, magenta, white, or you can select a color from this list, basically allowing you to make it any color you want. We are going to show you an example with just a yellow background because it doesn't look very good, but it's an example of how it would look. So we're gonna click yellow. And as you can see here, before you click apply and close, you see in this little preview window what it will look like. So I can come here and say that after seeing the preview, I don't like the yellow, we're gonna go red. Eh, I don't really like the red, we're gonna go blue. I don't really like the blue. We're gonna go magenta. I like the way magenta looks, we're gonna apply and close. So we're gonna click that, click okay. And as you can see here now, the screen is this magenta purple color. It's pretty in your face. And you see after, you know, kind of seeing it visually, I don't like this. Well, we wanna change it back. So to do that, we're gonna go back to the options. We're gonna come back to colors. We're gonna make sure it's on 2D model space, background, and we're going to restore current element. We're gonna click that, click apply and close. And as you can see, it is back to the normal um, element of your 2D model space. Okay, so there are a few other colors you can change as well that kind of are incorporated into the background. You have the major grid lines, minor grid lines. To change those, we're just gonna do the same thing we did to change the actual background color. Go to colors right here. We'll go to gr major or grid major lines, and this is in the 2D model space. We'll change them to red, just see how they look. Obviously, you can see that there is a preview of the red, but we are going to click apply and close to really get a feel. And as you can see here, these are the major grid lines that change to red. I don't really like that color, so we're gonna change it back again. Again, the same way you did before. You wanna make sure that's selected. You have to actually select it. It's not preset to select there. And we're going to restore current element, apply and close, click OK. And there you go, your grid lines are back to normal. Again, we can also change things um, like the what is it, minor lines right here. We'll change those to red, see what it looks like, apply and close. As you can see here, it's the little lines or the little grids that you know turn to red. Again, don't really care for that. I'm pretty... Um, partial to the just normal AutoCAD colors that it comes with the uh, default, so the restore current element colors. Again, I'll make sure we click on the minor, apply and close. And then when you go into options as well, you have multiple different options for other things like the grid access lines, the auto track vector. And then when you click on some of these, you can change them. It'll give you like this auto track vector. It gives you the preview of it again. Be sure to try the preview first before you um, kind of set it to your actual function. It gives you an idea before you have to go back in. Just a little bit of a time saver, but you know, take some time, look at the interface element box and just play around with it. 
The most important button is this restore current element. That way you can just go back to the colors that you had before and the colors that you're used to instead of um, kind of trying to guess what those colors were. All right, so that's going to wrap up the video here. Hopefully you found it um, helpful. Hopefully you found it useful. Thank you again for watching. Thank you for all the support on the channel. I truly appreciate it. And I hope everyone has a good rest of their day.